and welcome to Catholic Current, where we give you an update on events affecting the Church in the United States. From Washington, D.C., I'm Mara Moser. Next week, the bishops of the United States will gather for their annual plenary assembly in Orlando, Florida. James Rogers, Chief Communications Officer of the USECB, is joining us to talk about this upcoming event. Welcome, James. Thank you, Mara. Very happy to be here. So tell us, what is the June plenary assembly? What are they gathering to do? So the conference meets twice a year. It's all the bishops, the local ordinaries, the auxiliaries. Uh, so they all gather twice a year. But something uh, very different is happening now. Began in November, will continue through June. And that is, as you know, Pope Francis has issued this worldwide call to be a more synodal church. And a synod is much more than a meeting. It's, it's a way of proceeding. It's who we are as church. And because of that, the bishops are changing the way that they're meeting, they're changing the way that they are coming together. So they're gonna to come together first uh, in prayer to worship God and listen for the Holy Spirit. They'll then break into fraternal dialogues to listen to one another and hear about the experiences of the people of God from across the country. And then and only then will they be ready to take up the business of the meeting. And that business will look at um, how we live as church, how we pray as church, and how we serve as church. Beautiful. What are some of the agenda items that they'll be discussing specifically? Well, they're going to take uh, the fruits of, the, of that prayer and that dialogue uh, and look at a few key areas. Of course, there'll be you know, the, the routine pieces of the presidential address, the nuncio's remarks. They'll have an opportunity uh, to reflect on the beautiful story of the Shreveport martyrs. Um, also, a chance to look at, as I mentioned, how we pray as church, so revisions to the liturgy of the hours. They'll have a series of updates, including on World Youth Day. They'll, of course, be preparing for the Synod, uh, which opens uh, in October in Rome. Uh, they'll be looking at the pastoral life of Hispanic ministry and Latino ministry in the United States with a new plan. They'll be looking at uh, a new guide for the ongoing formation of priests throughout their ministry, throughout their lives. Also be looking at whether or not it is time uh, to look at guidance for people with disabilities in their life in the church to make sure that uh, we are more uh, welcoming and open um, so that we can all serve and, and, and worship, worship together. Great. Thank you very much, James. We look forward to watching it. Catholic Current will broadcast two shows with highlights and interviews from the Plenary Assembly. You can also watch the live stream online at the USCCB website. While the bishops are gathered in Orlando, the state of Florida has scheduled an execution of a man convicted of two murders. The bishops of Florida have appealed the governor to stay the execution. Chris Ann Valancourt Murphy is the executive director of the Catholic Mobilizing Network. Thank you for joining us on Catholic Current, Chris Ann. It's good to be with you, Maura. So what are some alternatives that could be used in place of executions? Capital punishment does not resolve anything. And so I think when people talk about alternatives to the death penalty, what they're really thinking about is how can we keep someone or parties who are responsible for harm, how can we keep them accountable? And for us Catholics, thinking through the lens of the gospel and the lens of Catholic social teaching, of course, we want to model Jesus's reconciling way. So we always wanna keep society safe. We wanna keep those who have harmed accountable and at the same time we want to seek redemption and seek healing seek reconciliation when we can there are many programs and many alternatives such as restorative justice that tries to bring together all of the parties who are impacted by crime or harm or violence and to do what they can to make it as right as possible to seek repair thank you so much for joining us Christian, and for all your good work Good to be with you. Earlier this week, Pope Francis underwent surgery on his abdomen. He is expected to remain in the hospital for a week as he recovers, and he has suspended his general audiences until June 18th. We join Archbishop Rolio and millions of people across the globe in praying for Pope Francis's health and well-being as he recovers. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Catholic Current. You can find out more about any of this week's topics by visiting us online at usccb.org or follow us on social media at usccb. I'm Mara Moser. See you next week.